Well, I am back in Sofia, Bulgaria, and as you can see by the looks of the presidential administration building behind me, it is holiday season. Should I practice a little Bulgarski? It's hard to get it situated in selfie mode. Okay, so it says Veseli Koledni Praznici, which I don't know why it says Praznici, that, that's plural, so it's I interpret that as uh, Merry Christmas Holidays. I don't know why it doesn't just say Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas Holiday, but it seems to say Merry Christmas Holidays. And then over here, it's wishing you a happy new year. Just, just leave a Novo Godina. <coughs> happy new year. From Ruman Radev, the president of Bulgaria. I don't know if he's the guy wishing us a happy new year or the country as a whole. But uh, I spent the last three new years in Sofia and entering this holiday season I don't know where I'm gonna end up I am supposed to fly from Morocco to Budapest right around Christmas it might even be on Christmas Eve or hours before Christmas Eve and then I have yet to decide where I'll be going from there should I hang around in Budapest, should I grab a Wizz Air flight and head straight back to Sofia and spend the holidays here, if there even is a Wizz Air flight at the time? Should I veer off towards Slovenia and Zagreb, Croatia, two places I have still yet to visit? I've been discussing visiting those, or at least thinking about visiting those places for a while, although ideally I wouldn't be visiting, at least for my own purposes, ideally I wouldn't be visiting Slovenia in winter time. I'm sure it is extremely beautiful with the snow and I'm sure the Slovenian Alps look lovely at this time of year, but I'd rather hit Lake Bled at least which is supposed to be a, a very beautiful sight during the summer. As you can see behind me, this is a look that you probably have not seen before of the former communist headquarters here in Sofia. And this is Benebe, the Bulgarian National Bank building. It's a very festive feel in Sofia at this time of year. I was going to show you a secret, not so secret anymore, many people have caught on to it, but a, a very nice little hidden, semi-hidden bar atop a building over here, but it's closed right now, so I'm not going to give you a peek at that. Right now it's Christmas Macht time in Sofia. I don't know why Bulgaria likes to adopt a little bit of German culture, but People seem to get all excited about this Christmas market that they set up here at the National Theater Park on a yearly basis. I guess I'll take you for a little walk through there right now. So what's going on in the world right now? Everyone is talking about Bitcoin. Bitcoin, depending on which exchange you've been following, has hit highs of anywhere from 16 to 20 plus thousand dollars this week and there's so much talk and and so much hype that I'm wondering if I could just whip out my phone right now and start buying some German sausages or whatnot using Bitcoin which wouldn't make sense for multiple reasons, one of which, I hope I'm not going to get drowned out by the sound right now, but one of those reasons is the network fee is still very much a problem, so 
trans <laughs> transaction costs and transaction times have been. Here's the Christmas market. Do you, do you like it? What do you think? Festive atmosphere and decent weather right now, surprisingly. Probably spinning this camera around too fast, getting you dizzy. Um, so as I continue on about Bitcoin, it's very much up in the air whether the Bitcoin community is going to solve the transaction speed and cost problems and that's probably opening up the opportunity for competition among these competing cryptocurrencies and there are several of them that are doing extremely well and making huge gains this week so this is something that I certainly have my eye on in the coming weeks if not days I'm gonna be discussing some of the opportunities within not only travel but journalism with regard to cryptocurrencies and I think it is about time that journalists both um, or for that matter any anyway, student journalists aspiring journalists professional journalists start catching on to all of the opportunity that is arising in this changing monetary environment so would you like to see the National Theater there it is it's a very nice looking it's not a very good shot of it the Ivan Vazov Theater it's or it's known as the Naroden Theater the, the National Theater here in Sofia that is it right there this is a fountain it looks absolutely beautiful for the warm months of the year but right now it looks a little ugly considering that there's no water in it but the National Theater actually looks very nice and festive right now Let's, I'll try to get you a more close-up shot Everyone's getting ready for New Year's already. Grand Hotel Sofia has 2018 on it. This little park is one that is pretty special to me. I'll tell you that story some other time. Here's a better shot of the National Theater. That looks pretty nice with this very ominous sky. It's like a rain cloud is coming up upon it, yet it's very lit up and festive for the holidays. That's an interesting little contrast. So I didn't even have anything in mind when I started shooting this vlog. I just figured that I might as well make use of every second of the day or at least aim to do so. So I'm filming this. If you actually enjoy these random impromptu vlogs, which could be walks around Sofia or they could be done pretty much anywhere because I am all over the place nowadays. So if you do like this format, Please leave a comment saying that you would, yes, like more of these and you could duplicate that thumbs up with a like on YouTube or Facebook or wherever this ends up going. And regarding YouTube, please subscribe to my channel, Josh Friedman. I am going to be providing you more content. I've been a little lackadaisical in my YouTube uploads in recent days if not weeks i will be getting back to that particularly when i hit the road a week from now as like i said i'll be heading toward morocco and it'll be my first of two visits this winter time to morocco i'm very much looking forward to that i've never been there before and i 
am excited about checking it out for a variety of reasons. But if you want to see more of these little walk and talks around Sofia, please let me know. As for now, ciao, lecca vecher, have a good evening from Sofia, Bulgaria. Goodbye.